my channel. So today I want to share everything that I've been buying lately. I was really good towards the end of winter, you know, let the sales be happening, and then March came, the sun started to shine, and I thought, ooh, some things that I want. So I did some shopping and I wanted to share. Some of this stuff is new, some of it's thrifted. And I'm just kinda gonna give you a haul. Link to everything on Like To Know It. So Like To Know It is an app that I'm able to post my photo, link everything that I purchased, and then you can go to the app, click on the photo, click on the links, and go right to where I had it. I always put my like sizing information and description in those outfit links. And the way that I shop brand new clothes, because I am really into like sustainability and being a smart consumer and like not over consuming stuff I think it's really important the stuff that I buy new is always something that I can see in my closet for years or it's something that I didn't want to invest in ie knit tops I wear them with everything because I might stain it I might get self tanner on it right now I'm not giving self tanner reps but you feel me if you haven't been to my channel before welcome I work in the fashion industry I do a lot of thrifting shopping fashioning things apartment stuff, life in New York City, all kinds of stuff. So if you're interested in those things and you end up liking this video, I would love for you to subscribe. I'm also going to talk through like a little bit of what I purchased and why. So if you're interested in getting in more of the nitty gritty of what makes things high quality versus not, like what is worth investing in, check out my last video. I just posted it. It's so informative. Those are the types of things that you can expect from me on here and we're just really gonna pop into it, okay? So, first thing I got, this cute, gorgeous little cashmere cami. It's a sweater, obviously cashmere. I thought I was allergic to cashmere and wool, but like I'm wearing this and I'm so comfortable. So I don't know, maybe I like aged out as I itched my shoulder, <laughs> I don't know. And I just love it, it's from J. Crew. So there's that. And then next is this hat. So I went shopping with my mom and my sister and we were walking by the windows at Anthropology, and I literally was upset. I actually asked a woman who's working there I said excuse me where the heck is that hat girl and she was like well let me go get it for you and so boom done I've been really into the varsity sporty like femme thing and that's a really big trend I'm leaning towards for spring and summer so I am all about the hats right now piling on top of that I also got this jacket from mango it's not even a jacket it's a coat it's fully lined it's actually so nice all of the trims are here so there's no cut of a cost here and I again talked about this on my quality video if you want to check it out talking about why this would cost more than something else and it just is so pretty and I'm literally obsessed with it. This is a size small. I tried on the medium because I wanted to be able to wear and the small fits great and is a really good size that will last me for years. So behind my hands, I have the cutest things ever. These little shoes. Okay, I know everyone has the, what are they, gazelles. Gazelles? I don't feel like people are calling them that. What are they calling these? Gazelles? Are people calling them the gazelles? I'm sure I'll remember. How cute though, this colorway. So this is what I did, y'all. All right, are you ready for this? I ordered two pairs on Farfetch, $270 each. That was $600 I ordered online shoes. They came in, I was like, I have a pit in my stomach paying $270 for a pair of tennis shoes. So I did some more digging, my friend has ordered shoes like this on StockX. Don't really know much about the website. They did show up. They were in perfectly fine condition. So I'm not really certain how I feel, but I have the shoes, okay? And they're fire. What can you do? It took like a while for them to get in because it came from Italy as well. So just keep in mind. But I fell in love with this color combo. Had to get the pink pop, you know? I wore them the first day and they were actually very comfortable. I will say the tongue kind of like hits the top of my, bit, my ankle, which is a little annoying, but it's like we will survive because they're so cute. And I'm assuming they're eventually gonna be so comfortable. You know what I'm saying? Everyone says to size down in these. I initially got a men's size seven. I think I could have done with a women's size seven and a half, but I didn't understand because online, it's just like confusing because it says like, these are women's, but the other ones were men's, but they're exactly the same. So I'm just kind of like, okay. But whatever, it's not important. They're still sweating. So this is my outfit. I would 100% wear this. Probably will wear it for work later this week. Maybe remove the hat. Okay, so that is 
newness number one. Another trend that honestly snuck up on me are the barrel jeans. So cargos came in and they came in hot. I saw them coming. They were all of the runways. I don't think I saw these on the runways or I wasn't paying attention to them. I don't know, but a coworker of mine has a pair and she wears them all the time and then she started getting more pairs and I was like, those are so cute on her. And then I was like, maybe I should go try to find some myself was shopping at Mango and saw these and fell in love, tried size two on. They were a little bit big in the waistband. The size one fits me literally perfect. Mango denim just fits me super well. Also just feel like really cool in them because it's like with my new shoes, I just look cooler than I am, you know what I mean? So then, let me just say, I wore my metallic jacket with this and it felt like it just like really was a good trendy but still not too trendy like they all the things that i'm wearing are trendy but not like scary like i think they're doable for many people so yeah overall i'm just like really into this outfit i'll probably wear this for work this week so cute i'm wearing the hat again but like i probably don't need it <laughs> i feel like this is just a really cool outfit i also have a layout doing this kind of moment so the proportions of this are so freaking cute oh my god are you kidding so this jacket I got from Anthropology last year, towards the end of winter, in the fall time-ish. So I haven't really gotten to like wear this that much. I've worn it a few times. It's so cute. Again, like I was saying, the like femme with the barrel, with a little sporty moment. It's just very like cool girl, you know? I'm kind of like in my cool girl era, if you will. Right? You agree? Do you, do you agree? Um they agree like i was also saying this tea is from mango and i just like love getting teas and tanks and stuff like fresh this will last me like a year probably and then i'll need to get a new one really cute under 25 dollars this would also be a really cute look with my trench coat see what i mean by like items that can really be paired together mixed and matched she's trendy but she's classic you feel me the next thing I thrifted is this gorgeous Millie sweater. And this is another moment where I was like, it's 100% wool. No, it's not. It has wool in it. I get so itchy, but it was so pretty. I literally, it's in perfect condition and made so well. The entire pattern's on the front and back, which is how you can tell that a sweater's really nice. Like if it were to be cheaper, there would just be the varsity probably right on the panel on the front and it wouldn't go through the sleeves. Like that's so hard to do and the designer that i worked for literally was like oh my god i love your sweater and i was like girl i knew you would because it's just like so intricate so a sweater designer would be obsessed how cute millie like i said this outfit is fucking cute 89 dollars 170 15. so the whole outfit is like 300 yeah 300 bucks the whole outfit are you kidding me I'm gonna put this on with the other outfit that I am so obsessed with that I went out into 30 degree weather strictly to take photos of myself in it. Okay, obsessed, right? Aren't you, aren't you? I'm in love with the denim skirt trend. I think we'll be at the peak this summer. I honestly love this skirt because of the color, the wash, the slit, but unfortunately, like it does twist all day long because it's way too big and I knew it when I got it in, but I was so desperate to wear my outfit. <laughs> Fatal flaw, desperate to wear outfits, will do anything for an outfit. And I need one that fits because I can't wear this to work and walk around the city when it's constantly going up and down and all around. So I'm going to invest and I'll get back to you on anything new, but the current one is from H&M. I'm just really into this outfit. You know I'm wearing this all summer long. You just knew it. So this is another, you know, tee. This is from H&M. It's just a, like a nice scoop neck. I liked how wide it was. I feel like it's really good for work because it's not too revealing, if you will. And I needed a new white tank. So I've done a lot of the curved in like I just showed you. So I was trying to spice it up. And I think it's like 12 bucks or something, like super affordable. Not, you know, the brightest and best, but for what it needs to do, it does. And we know I'm gonna stain the crap out of it. So, so the purpose of this outfit is layering. It's spring, we're layering so much. Mango, again. This sweater, again, scoop neck. I, it's, it was $50, but the fit of it and the fact that it is this polyester fabric that lasts for so long in a sweater, I don't foresee it pilling up. It's not like super soft. If something is like super soft, it's going to pill. If it's a medium soft, it's gonna be good. And I think I could see myself wearing this a lot in the winter, 
right now I'm wearing it obviously and I like that I can have it do that layering trend so here she is layered kind of cute kind of varsity got rid of the sambas oh my god one thing about me might not know the word in the exact moment that I need it I'll find my way to it you know sambas my samba shoes okay so this little tee baby tee right I love the simple neckband it's very small it's like we're really getting into the wide band colors right now but sometimes it's nice to switch it up so this one is a little bit skinnier cutie and it's just like a smaller rib I always gravitate towards ribs and knits it just feels a little bit more elevated versus a flat fabrication and the retention is like better retention is like when you wear it does it stretch out it usually will go back to its its shape well so i just like wanted to wear this outfit because it was kind of fun so my mom helps me with my poshmark because i don't live in kansas city anymore so all my old clothes like still stay in the basement until they're sold so sometimes i'll just like you know kind of mose my way through my own poshmark seeing what i have and i saw this camo jacket knowing that the camo trend's coming back in thought it was gone for sure hearted it she was like hey honey you hearted this brought it to me when she came to visit and i wore it the other day and i was just like i'm so missouri new york right now like it just reminds me of college but it's super cute so i wanted to show it and if you have camo i tell you right now bring it back out bring it back out we're wearing it again so this is my outfit utility is trending we're really into it here in this house so next up this is from mango again again linked on my ltk if you want to buy from those links i do get a bit of commission which i would love your support on also it helps me like see what people are liking and leads me like in a direction of how my haul should go etc 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 although i will probably still buy whatever i want <laughs> So this is it up close. It's really gorgeous. It reminds me of something from like Free People or Isabel Morant. Just like very washed, kind of like gorgeous, soft, quilted little jacket. And jackets and coats are kind of my weakness along with jeans and shoes. So I just am obsessed. Like how cute. It's like a little bomber vibe. And I love the volume in the sleeve with the little inverted dart situation happening here. Just the doors, you know? These pants are also from Mango. They seem to run them every year. I think they're kind of a core program for them. Shoes also linked exact. I got these on Poshmark. However, they do sell them on the website still. Probably because they're that good. True to size. True to size. True to size. True to size. Love when that happens. Okay, this top I recently got as well from Abercrombie. Super cute. I'm wearing it in a more dressy way. You could also wear it with jeans. I feel like it's just like a really nice abbreviated moment. It's stretchy, you know, it's doubled. So there's two layers here, one for the lining and one for this that makes it have that beautiful clean edge moment and then the ruching and stuff. So it's also very stretchy in it because it's a knit. It's like a Jersey Modal probably. Let me see. Did I, did I ace the test? That's a cotton Modal. You know, when you know, you know. I'm really getting good at this fabric thing. Boom, loves it. And the skirt is from Mango last year. I wore this to the Met when my parents came to visit. Really cute. Kept the ballet flats on. You know, you could just throw on a jacket or whatever. It would probably look cute with my tricky girly. Honestly. Like, little outfit. And then we're reaching the finish line. I'm using same. The next thing I found thrifting is this little tee. It's Babaton. It looked like maybe worn a few times. Like, I don't know. Maybe the girl who sold it was like i outgrew it i never really ended up wearing it i don't know i don't care i'm not asking questions i'm just wearing her clothes now okay luckily they actually labeled this goodwill prices and i think it was like seven bucks but the sweater and the cashmere tank they freaking knew they knew and they upped the charge but for 35 dollars total spent a babaton tea a millie sweater and a cashmere tank i mean fine by me say less so, like I said, I'm addicted to like teas and tanks and things, so that's an explanation for the for the tea here. I think my favorite thing about t-shirts and stuff like that is that you can just wear your easy boyfriend jeans. These are the outer known jeans that I got from Half of Half, my Poshmark ballet flats, and I'm just like chic and easy basic clothing, like very classic. There's nothing one can say to say my outfit isn't cute. Like it's just cute. Another thing I got kind of 
without trying on. Why did I do that? You know. I went to TJ Maxx and I saw this quilted jacket and I thought it was so cute. And I was like, what? Clarence, 40 bucks? And I thought, why would I not? You know, it's a size large. And then as I was looking at it in the aisle, I was like, this looks a bit wide for me. And it's true. Like I tried it on and it's like falling back. Like I can feel it unbalanced here. Like when we fit garments, you want the shoulder seam to sit a little bit more forward like this, you know? Whereas this just, it's falling back, like not forward. So it just is like a little weird and I can't really move in it, which is why it was at the TJ Maxx. So I need to return it, but I'm a little bit nervous that they won't let me because it was on clearance. So I'm going to look up the policy. They didn't warn me against it or not, but this would have been kind of cute, right? This is just also like another easy work outfit that I could just throw on, not have to think about, and I'm just like in the office, you know? I would of course wear a belt so that my stomach wasn't showing as much, but boom. Here she is. Easy as one, two, three. Well, that's a wrap. Yup, it is. So that was super fun. I love sharing my new stuff with you guys and hopefully the links help. I can't wait to share kind of my inspirations and like what I'm really like looking at for spring, different images. I usually like to pull images from like Pinterest, stuff like that versus just the runway. So that's kind of how it differentiates. If you're a little confused, you're like, wait, you did spring trims. I did, but for next year, 2025 runway. And you can look back on the 2024 runway and I'm sure I'll be pulling from it too. But I like to look at the girls on Pinterest and stuff to see their outfit ideas and kind of like that's where I get some inspiration and I can recreate them or get good vibes and color palettes and ideas from my closet and you know, you know, you know the reason. So that's kind of the vibe for next week and I hope you guys love this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Alright, I will see you guys in my next one. Love ya. Bye.